Hey everybody, welcome to game number three in this best of five 1v1 casuals championship. Jim Bob has taken two games, so Terror is in a win or die situation here in game number three. I'm Philothanic. Joining me today is Morgan. Morgan, what do you think about this one? Uh, yeah, there's some very nice scientist spots. Um, so you think Terror is going to change it up and not go for a scientist, or is he going to go for scientist for the oh, game in a row? Yeah, but I mean, glasses start to double. <clears throat> Excuse me, there's two silicon side by side. And that's right. It. right. So if you go for this scientist so, spot right here, spot. you're easy range to grab a scientific the silicon HQ has been found early. It. And that's what Jim Bob looks like he's going to do. Terra's going to found all the way on the other side of the map from the silicon. So it's going to be very hard for him to get into it later on in the yeah. game. I'm... Um, Curious, I would have been tempted to bag those two. I suppose it's pirates, but I don't know. Maybe bagging those two silicons as glass. This glass started so high. Uh, yeah. I think it's a race now. See so you can get those, that silicon. The other thing to do maybe would have start as an expansive. That way you don't have to worry so much about the shipping of the silicon, and you have an extra claim at HQ2 to maybe is claim on. both of them. So we'll have to see what Jim Bob decides to do on his HQ2. He's going to move into some aluminum and, and two silicon. both silicon. Yeah, which is potentially game winning. It is a long term play. For sure, um, although glass is at 163, so maybe not that long term. Everything else is looking low, so the question is, can Terror make enough money on non-silicon resources to win the game early, or is he going to go for a early patent rush and maybe get slant drilling? Uh, I think I don't know. I think you'll have to do something. Um, it's going to be quite difficult unless he goes into electronics to make the money for his um, glass upgrades. Um, especially with life support starting quite low. Yeah, going into electronics, the benefit there is that they only use 0 0.25, 0 0.25 silicon a second, which isn't a lot individually. So it's a, it will be a little bit harder for Jim Bob to completely eliminate the electronics profits by playing with silicon. It is a little bit of an interesting conundrum that Terror has. Now, one thing he can do is there are pirates. He needs to get pirates down immediately. So he gets pirates down immediately, try and grab as much of that glass as possible. Terror does have the money for pirates should he want to which he definitely should want to. The other thing uh, the pair can do is play with this oxygen price. Try and make it as expensive as possible. Just hurt Jim Bob as much as he can. Make sure that he's not making anything from this glass. Although $92 a second in profit from these glass kilns, it's going to be pretty hard to punish Jim for that this early. The pirates do come down, so Terror is going to get some glass. A new claim is available for auction. Yeah, I think Terror probably needs to make a power play or something. Um, any, well, as much debt as he got, 20 key could possibly do it. Um, I don't know, it's going to be difficult for him to buy glass in. Although the pirates will help him along. Yeah, the pirates will help. He is only in, like you said, 20k of debt. There are three geotherms on the map, so Sold. perhaps going into double geos could be an answer. Another possibility, and then just try and keep Bully Jim Bob out of power. Make sure he never gets any power online, especially with power especially. creeping up at 185. That is an option. Yeah, something... HQ has been upgraded. Something's going to have to be done, I think. Well, Terra did just upgrade to HQ3, so let's see what he's thinking of doing. He put down something somewhere. Mm. Nope, that was Jim. Terra's still debating. 
Jim is immediately moving into a line of water pumps. Terror still has three claims to put down. He can construct a geotherm, which is what I would recommend doing. He has enough money. He's going into Yay. a couple farms, going into one geotherm. Looks like he's saving that second claim for perhaps the other geotherm. We will see yeah. power is really high. Jim also needs to be thinking about going into power. They, yeah, they do. Somebody needs to get to power and quick. There's quite a lot of money to be made. Terra, there we go, takes a second geotherm. Yeah, Jim's in C debt already, 100k debt, soul 3, not a good sign. This is this is a way, the Terra's at 64, but he's getting both of his geos up. He has bought a goon, he's going to goon that, so Jim is either going to have to spend 6k, 3k on the spy to find out which of Terra's geos are gooned or he's gonna have to take a blind guess with the dynamite and that's never 50 50 odds on that yeah but jim bob's gonna slip quite easily into d-dead soon oh jim's jim's oh. geo's not even on the line yet he's got it goon squatted but it's still gonna take a while to build it and it's not gonna make him any money it's not gonna reduce his debt it's just gonna cover his usage He'll make point, slides. Point 0.6 off of that, so definitely two hundred dollars. A yeah. scientific HQ has not, been upgraded. Not a lot. Now Which, when you've got a debt of one hundred thirty-seven k, and you're choice. looking at thirty percent interest, doesn't look pretty. No, Terror, despite not having any access to the silicon, looks to be in a good position. Went for from... a blind circuit overload onto Jim's Geo, which definitely a questionable move with spies at 3k. Yeah, but if he takes his mutiny, then those silicon tiles are up for grabs. The silicon tiles are up for grabs, or just take the Geo in 30 seconds. Jim won't be able to mutiny it back. No, his only option would be to. EMP it. Or we'll use that overload on it. Well, those aren't options either because he's in D debt. He's got the. No, Jim's got the circuit overload. <laughs> the one he caught oh, from Terra. Right. Well, the only thing with circuit overloading these steel mills is Terra can turn them off. Which he should. Yes. If, he, if he does turn them off, um, they won't be losing him any money. They'll still be making plenty. There goes the Geo Mutiny, so I'd like to see you Terror turn these steel mills off. Right now he's making 1,000 a second in power. He turns these steel mills off. That number's going to creep up even higher. He's going to pay through all of his debt. Might win the game off of this power play. Still has three claims that he needs to put down. Moving slowly into more electrolysis reactors. Meanwhile... <laughs> Jim did get to HQ4. His glass continues. Actually, he's not even in glass anymore. Has a couple of wind turbines down. Yeah, he's gone, grabbed another carbon claim as well, which no doubt they could be transferred into wind turbines shortly. There's an EMP on the wind turbines. Those will be off. Terra does not want Jim to make any money. Well, he's not going to make money. Terra does not want Jim to pull himself out of this nearly $200,000 in debt. No, I don't think Jim Bob's coming out of debt somehow. I think it should be plain sailing for Terra to pull this one back. Yeah, I still would have liked to see the circuit overloaded steel mills turned off. Just a little bit of a misplay by Terra, but it doesn't look like it'll hurt him too much. No, it has been painful for him, though, paying $140 for the power for each one. Yeah, that's more that you could have in your pocket, although Terra is making $748 a second in power, and that is going straight into his cash on hand. The question that Terra has for this point is upgrade to HQ5 or try and go for the kill on HQ4? Mm, go for the kill. 
Jimbo, well, New building is available for 14, you might be able to buy a couple of shares. Yeah, he could buy but... a couple of shares. And uh, Terror does look like he might be going for the kill right now. He's building a hacker array. It is 50% on the way. Optimization center going. Um, question is for Terror. Do you let Jim take it for 16? I think so... the answer is yes, since you're making so much power money. Just continue to hammer Jim with the black market. Make sure you're getting most of, as much of the power as you can yourself. Yeah, I think he needs to blow up uh, that geotherm rather than EMP it. The hacker array is finished. Assigned to Time to change has been but that apart was from a that. dangerous upgrade from Jim, and Terra's going to immediately nice. start buying into them. Uh, these are fatal upgrades. Um, <laughs> I don't think he's going to get away with it. No, you shouldn't be able. Terra has. You know, Terra does have enough, I believe. Just a little, a couple more. He'll sell, buy one more share after he earns four more K. Sell out of he that last sell. share, and then we'll take the game. Putting himself in the black in, uh, market is online. Uh, not the greatest position, but he'll be two one in the series. Yeah, it's a better position than he was in when he started the game, so I'm sure he'll take it. I'm sure he will too. But Jim Bob had a very bold move by going for the glass on those two silicon, claiming those two silicon. He didn't control his debt. If he controlled his debt, I think maybe potentially that would have been an okay play. I'm not entirely sure. I think probably he could have used those two silicons to get a couple of solar panels down. Um, yeah. Because power very early looks like it was going to go a little bit crazy. And with two scientists, it's quite often difficult to get power down, isn't it? So maybe they should have thought ahead a little bit. If you're going to go for double silicon, like I mentioned earlier, I'm not sure I'd pick scientists for that. Yeah, like maybe I think it'd be... if you go for expansive, sure you're you're still going to have trouble with power, but you'll have extra claims you can afford to go into the double silicon. Versus yeah. the scientist, on the other hand, especially with them going into the Silicon HQ2 and Power High, you need all those claims. You do, you do. I think, yeah, you could probably could have, even if uh, your opponent had gone with scientists first, if you were on expansive seconds, you could have picked up at least one of those silicon tiles. And then you're forcing your opponent at least to go into slant drilling to get anything decent done. I don't know. Interesting map. I'm surprised the Silicon Monopoly didn't play a larger part. 